When you have a camera in your hand at all times, your phone namely, you're in a great position to capture content for your business. However, not all pictures provide good content. In fact, if it doesn't make sense or the quality is poor, it can actually do more harm than good. That's why you need to put yourself in position to capture high quality, meaningful pictures that engage your audience and showcase your business in a positive, professional light. In this section, I'm going to provide you with four ways to get the most out of your photo content. Number one, tell a story. Think about the posts you engage with on social media. Maybe they make you laugh or cry. Perhaps they get you excited. You probably remember them because they had context. There was a story behind them. For your business, a simple picture of your product or service isn't likely to create an emotional response, unless there's a story behind it. When you go to make a post, make sure you can explain the relevance of the image or video in a way that appeals to your audience. See it through their eyes. Let's say you're a real estate agent and you posted about a house selling. One really common thing I see with this is congratulations to the buyers and sellers with a picture of the sold sign in front of the house. So what does the audience really get from that? Instead, you want to talk about the why. Tell us a bit about your customers. Can you get them in the picture or in a series of pictures? Why was the moment special? What were the challenges you overcame? Make sure there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Not everyone wants you to tell their story, which is just fine. How can you spin it into a different story? If you can't get a story out of a picture, then it's empty filler. It's meaningless content. In this case, all people will see is that a real estate agent is bragging about selling a house. As someone who's bought and sold a few homes, I know there's always way more to the story than that. If you're taking a picture of a new product, tell your audience why it's special. What made you create this product? How can it change people's lives? Can you have someone in the image using the product? Before posting a picture, ask yourself, does this send a powerful message and is there a story behind it? If you say no, then make plans to post something different. Make your post meaningful by telling a good story. Number two, use people in your pictures and videos. According to BuzzSumo, posts with images earn 2.3 times more engagement on Facebook than simple text. Additionally, posts that include people in those images earn about 30% more reach. People relate to other people. They're instinctively drawn to them. If you post a person enjoying your product or highlight an employee's accomplishment, it can be far more clickable. If you post a picture of a cup of coffee, it's just a cup of coffee. But if you post a picture of a cup of coffee in someone's hand while they sip and smile, all of a sudden that coffee becomes desirable. People can see it, smell it, and taste it. If you're selling a beautiful house, stage it. Bring in a few actors and show its livability. Put your audience in the moment by adding some people to the mix. Number three, get the highest quality shots. Nothing kills your credibility more on social media than posting low quality images. People immediately see your business as second rate. When you post on social media, consider it to be a representation of your brand. Make sure you're using good lighting, solid framing, and avoid blurriness. Also, filters are fun, but they're not overly professional. To get the highest quality, you'll want to either use a phone with a premium camera or a standalone mirrorless or DSLR camera. You'll also want to practice consistently to ensure that you know how to use your camera well. You've likely seen those pictures on Zillow where the real estate agent's reflection is in the mirror. Know your camera and understand the basics of photography to get the best results. Number four, be creative. Last year, I purchased a drone and became a licensed remote pilot. I did this in order to take better pictures from different perspectives, and it's really paid off. When people see shots from up high or at impossible angles, they tend to stop and marvel. It's just another creative way of gathering content. It's important to stand up and change things up every once in a while to keep your audience coming back for more. Grocery stores often post their food specials on social media. The food is typically still packaged. Why not prepare the food and show the finished product and make some people hungry in the process? Have you ever gone to a grocery store hungry? I think you know what the bill is after that. If you've got an idea to try something creative, don't be afraid to fail. You'll never know if it's a good idea until you try it. Instead of being safe and normal, dare to be different. And here's a bonus. Number five, hire a professional. If you don't have time to learn camera settings or to properly frame a photograph, then it's a good idea to hire a professional photographer. If you're hosting an event or taking product pictures, it's essential to bring in an expert. With pro shots, you can use the images on pretty much anything you produce, from social media to your website, brochures, flyers. You'll gather so much in one shoot that you can recycle the content in so many different types of posts. There's a reason you hire pros to take family portraits or wedding pictures. You want people to be blown away with memorable images. Treat your business the same way. 
It's how you make your living after all. Are you a photographer? Hire another photographer or a videographer to get pictures or reels of you taking pictures during an event. You're a professional who wants people to pay for you and what you have to offer. So there's nothing wrong with hiring someone else for the same reason. The image quality is certainly worth the price you pay. Speaking of pros, if you're using stock images in any fashion, make sure you have the legal rights to do so. It's not legal or ethical to take images you found online and to use them as your own. Memes are one thing, but proprietary work is another. If you get caught, not only will you have to pull the image down, but you'll also be fined and possibly taken to court. Now, I've experienced this firsthand. In my early days of marketing, I was fined $600 for using an image on my website, which I thought I had permission to use, but it turns out I was wrong. You don't want to make that same mistake. I'll leave a few links to websites I use for stock images below. Use them to ensure you don't get yourself into any sort of trouble. Bringing it all together. Imagery is an essential part of content creation, so you'll want the best, no matter your industry. Make sure you're always telling a good story, using people in your pictures when possible, getting the highest quality shots, and that you're being creative and trying new ideas. And, if necessary, hire a pro to help you out. Take pride in your content the same way you take pride in your business. Do you want people to stop and engage with your post or to just scroll on by? The quality of your images has the potential to control these actions. Again, take pride in your content the same way you take pride in your business. Time to move on to the next section. Let's go.